Today we discuss William Francis Brinsley Lepore Trench, 8th Earl of Clancarty. He was a prominent Irish ufologist and author who edited the Flying Saucer Review and served as Vice President of Bufora, the British UFO Research Association. He was disparaged as bonkers for, among other things, statements he made in the following interview with the famous Irish media personality Terry Wogan, who hosted the BBC chat show Wogan from 1982 to 1992. As you're about to see, the Greenwich Observatory introduction that Wogan uses prior to cutting to the interview is designed to insulate him from the ridicule that was sure to come over Lord Clancarty's shocking statements. I had to intercept this mental programming to show that American ufologist J. Allen Hynek had already stated five years prior in 1977 that astronomers had seen and reported UFOs. Note also that Lord Clancarty is the author of several books on ancient astronaut theory, with The Sky People published in 1960, a full eight years prior to Eric von Daniken's Chariots of the Gods. When he became a member of the House of Lords in 1975, he was able to push for the January 18, 1979 debate on UFOs in the House of Lords. This important event will be detailed in a separate video. You find me scanning the skies, as indeed very many people have for very many years at the Greenwich Observatory. The strange thing is that in all that time, not one of them has ever seen an unidentified flying object. It's uh, particularly heartening to me to see the rise of interest among scientists, and particularly astronomers, uh, in the UFO problem. So it has often been said that why don't astronomers see UFOs? As a matter of fact, they do. In a very recent report uh, by Professor Sturrock of Stanford University, who um, queried all the members of the American Astronomical Society, found that 53% of those who responded said that, in their opinion, the UFO problem was, was worthy of scientific study. And what is more, 64 of the astronomers who responded uh, gave what would be called UFO reports. Object Lord Clancarty is a leading expert in the field of UFOs and has certainly put the cat among the pigeons in the Ministry of Defense with his questions about unidentified flying objects. The point is there's been a cover-up, I think, in Russia, United States and here. In August 1980, the year before last, when I gave a talk to New Scotland Yard about UFOs, and I happened to mention it. And at the end, hands went up. Doesn't the minister know we've investigated thousands of sightings? Well, my question was to ask Her Majesty's government how many uh, UFOs, unidentified flying objects, had been uh, collected by the Minister of Defence during a four-year period the total for the four years came to 2,250. But look, if they did land, wouldn't all the governments of the Earth rise up and send them back into space? Uh, President Eisenhower was supposed to have met them in 1954. Eisenhower, with his own boys, met alien, uh, the extraterrestrials. Really? Yes, a very top secret operation. They flew in five differently shaped craft to Edwards Air Force Base near Morocco. These extraterrestrials demonstrated their paranormal powers, which are normal to them. And they went invisible, visible, invisible, visible. And this astronomer's boy said, oh, oh, look, look what's happening, you see? So, um, they decided, well, we can't have open contact with these chaps yet because there'd be panic amongst our people. So this was explained to them. I understand they spoke good English. <laughs> but they said, do you mind if we do an education program of the people on your planet? Eisenhower said, apparently said, as far as I'm concerned, I don't mind. Now, I happen to know someone called Sir John Whitmore. And he happened to tell me that he knew Steven Spielberg 
who <laughs> produce the <laughs> film close encounters of the third kind. Mm -hmm. There's your education program. But do you think that's Stephen being inspired Spiel from space? Yes, by Steven space. Spielberg told Sir John Whitmore he'd been inspired by extraterrestrials to make it. Well, they come from uh, outside or inside uh, our system? Well, there are several theories. Of course, the most upheld one, of course, is the extraterrestrial one. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, there is the theory that the Earth is hollow and that there are some people inside it. <laughs> uh, so these are advanced beings in the Earth itself. Yes. Do they ever come out and have a look? Yes. At them? <laughs> what would you say to people who say that you're bonkers? Well, I can say that. I think they are, uh, everybody's in, uh, entitled to their own view. And, of course, we're dealing with a subject which has not been officially accepted by the governments.